Okay, so we've talked about how in communication for IPT we're looking at three different levels. Okay, so remember back to our communication systems framework diagram. You've got your application level where your programs are running. So your Facebook Messenger, your Skype, whatever applications you're using on your phone, WhatsApp and so on. Then you've got your communication control and addressing layer, which is how the information gets addresses and gets directed to different uh, receivers or the different people, the different destinations within the communication system. And then you've got your actual transmission level down the bottom. Okay, so that's talking about your base layer, the bottom layer, your hardware that's been used, the microwaves that have been used, the actual media that is being used. Now within that you've got different protocols. So what's our protocols for the go to? Um, William, what's the protocol? Definition. Uh, set of rules, excellent. So you've got your protocols which are a set of rules within communication. Now those rules will happen, or different rules will happen at different layers. Okay, so Nessa has given us a couple that we need to know for the HSC. So remember we've talked about how communication protocols are the rules that govern transmission. Those rules will happen at different layers. Okay, so at the different levels within the communication. When you're communicating using a web browser, what's the protocol that you're using? Sorry, nice and loud. Excellent. So you're using HTTP or HTTPS. Right? Remember, the S means that you're using secure encrypted transmissions, whereas the HTTP protocol is non-encrypted. Uh, those are all happening at the application level. When you're sending emails to each other, you're using a protocol called SMTP, the Simple Mail Transport Protocol. Okay, another mail protocol is POP. Waiting, please. And so there's different protocols that operate at different layers. Your application level, different programs will use different protocols. However, the hypertext transfer protocol okay, can't exist in isolation because remember your communication gets passed down the layers and then back up, or the, down the levels and then back up when it's sent and received. So you've got your application levels, your browser is running on a computer and your computer is using an operating system. And so within that, you're going to need communication control and addressing level protocols. So if you're using your browser, what are you getting the information from? Where are you getting the information from, Jonas? Where are you getting the information from if you're using a web browser? The internet, and it's traveling over the internet. Now the protocols that are most commonly used for our communication control uh, on the internet are TCP IP. The data is addressed using an IP address on the internet. Okay, the IP address comes from the internet protocol, from the IP. Transmission control protocol uh, gives you addressing capabilities on the internet as well. So the internet uses TCP IP to transmit. However, the internet is just a whole lot of hardware that's out there connecting networks together. And so that hardware could be ethernet. Okay, like what we're using here, your ethernet cable. We talk about how those blue cables are often called ethernet cables. Those cables can be used to make up the internet. And so at a hardware level, our transmission level protocols, we're using ethernet. So you might be sitting on a computer that's using ethernet in order to communicate over TCP IP using HTTP. If you're browsing the internet, that's probably what you're doing. And so when you're talking about the protocols you also have to link them to the level that they're happening at. Now I gave you that past paper question. So if I jump quickly out of there. Yesterday I gave you the 2016 question 18 from the multiple choice as a little intro into our protocols and the style of question that you'll get on the internet. And so we've got here our question which is asking you which row in the table correctly matches the protocol with its level and its purpose. So we just talked about HTTP, and what level was HTTP running at? Application, Application it's the one you use in your browser. So we said yesterday that this one couldn't be our right answer. Right, so we were down to our bottom two layers. Having now looked at that little notes outline, which one can we confirm? is the correct layer, protocol, and purpose 
We need to just multiple choice question. Excellent. So D is the right one. So TCP is of a communication control and addressing layer, and its job is to transmit data across the internet, ensuring the messages are accurately, accurately delivered. And so TCP are the rules that operate at that addressing layer in order to make sure our messages actually get from one computer to another computer over the internet. Why was C wrong? Who was one of our, actually I won't ask who the three were, but three people chose Ethernet. Ethernet, it's operating at that transmission level layer, the bottom layer, but why is this answer here wrong? Excellent. So this is a different protocol definition. The token bit is using token ring the token ring protocol. So this definition here is not the definition of what Ethernet does. So this is the right protocol at the right layer, but the wrong purpose, the wrong definition. Right, so our correct answer for the 2016 HSC question 18 was D. All right.